Welcome to this quick tutorial showing the new features of my free option position builder for Deribit Options. This Google Sheet allows you to enter Bitcoin and Ethereum option positions based on the live prices on Deribit's exchange. The positions are then displayed on several charts allowing you to see the profit or loss the position will make at expiry as well as what effect this will have on your portfolio value. This is the main sheet that allows you to build and visualise positions. Firstly, to get a copy that you'll be able to edit, go to the sheet by clicking the link in the video description, then go to File, Make a Copy in the top left menu. Before I get into the features of this new version of the Position Builder sheet, I'll just show you quickly how it pulls in the live data, as that's what powers some of the new features. This involves a Google Sheets add-on called Crypto Sheets. You will need to add the Crypto Sheets add-on to your Google Sheet as well for this sheet to work. There is a free version of Crypto Sheets that currently includes up to 1,000 requests per month, which will be sufficient for light or moderate use. If you're using it very often and constantly switching between currencies, creating more requests, then you may need to upgrade your Crypto Sheets plan. It's very easy to install and use, and there's a link to their website in the video description. This whole project only uses three Crypto Sheets functions to call in data from three Deribit API endpoints. I've kept these on a separate sheet for each, so it's easy to see how things interact if you want to make any edits yourself. There's one that calls in the index price for the chosen currency. This is the Crypto Sheets function in cell A1. The rest of this data is populated by this one function. Next, we have the book summary for every instrument of the chosen currency. At the moment, we have Bitcoin selected on the main sheet, so it's pulling in the book summary for every Bitcoin instrument currently available on Deribit. As you can see, there are over 500 instruments at the moment, resulting in over 500 rows. But this whole sheet is populated by a single Crypto Sheets function in cell A1 again. This is pretty powerful, as it allows you to pull in all this data without needing to know about APIs or how to connect them to Google Sheets. Crypto Sheets does all that work for you. Lastly, we have the Get Instruments sheet, which lists every available instrument for the selected currency. This is similar to the book summary, but includes some different data that we use in the main sheet. Speaking of which, let's get back to the Position Builder sheet and see what it can do. On the left, we have a simple option chain that displays strike prices down the center, with call options on the left and put options on the right. For both puts and calls, there is a column for entering your position, a column that automatically populates with the current mark price for each option, and a column where you can enter a custom price if you don't want to use the mark prices. At the moment, I've got a short strangle position entered, which involves a short call and a short put. To enter a short position, just enter the number of contracts as a negative. Here I'm short one call and one put, so I've entered minus one for both. If I wanted to be long the straddle instead, I would just change the position sizes to positive one instead. The charts on the right will then update to show the new position. For now, I'll change it back to the short strangle again while we walk through the other features. It's currently using the mark prices that Crypto Sheets has imported from Deribit. You'll also notice that the mark prices are automatically highlighted green for options that are currently in the money. So any call options with a strike price lower than the current index price will be highlighted green, as will any put options with a strike price higher than the current index price. This is useful for quickly reorienting yourself to where the current price is when switching between different expiry dates, which we'll come on to shortly. If I want to override the current mark prices and use my own custom prices, I can do that by entering a price in the custom column. Then I just need to toggle on this setting called use custom prices. Notice that I forgot to enter a custom price for one of the legs, and it lets me know by highlighting the cell where I need to enter a custom price in red. When the custom price setting is toggled on, Unless you enter custom prices for each option where you have a position, the charts will be incorrect as they won't have a price to use. While we're on the subject of custom prices, 
It's also possible to enter a custom index price. When use custom prices is toggled on, this price is what will be used to value the option premiums in dollars. So this will alter the dollar P&L chart. This is useful if the index price has moved quite far since you opened the position and you want to see what the values showed when you opened it. I'll switch back to using mark prices and let's clear these positions for a minute. The big upgrade from the previous version of this sheet is that it pulls in current prices from Deribit using crypto sheets. Changing which expiry date and currency are being displayed is done by selecting from these two drop-down menus. The expiration date menu automatically populates based on the data pulled in from Deribit, so it will automatically update when new expiry dates are added or old ones expire. As we select a different date, the option chain on the left is refreshed with the options for that expiry date. The green highlight also refreshes to highlight the in-the-money options for the new expiry. If I change the currency to ETH, it will pull in the ETH options for this expiry instead. This does result in a new crypto sheets request for the data, so it can take a few seconds before they load. Changing the currency back and forth is also a good way to make sure the prices are up to date. However, do note that because this results in several new requests to crypto sheets, it might result in you hitting your limit for the month if you do it too often. You always have the option to upgrade to one of the paid plans though, which comes with lots more requests. I'll switch back to Bitcoin again and put a strangle position back on. In this version, I've added the ability to enter the high and low for the price range all the charts will show data for. This gives a lot more flexibility than the old percentage around the current price method and allows you to be precise about what you want shown. For example, what if our strangle was opened at a lower price? Now we can't see it properly. To fix this, we can just edit the chart range like so. And now we can see the position more clearly. Next up, you can enter some starting balances. These two entries are what are used for the bottom two charts that show you the total portfolio value in BTC and USD. For example, if we start with a balance of one Bitcoin and no dollars in a Deribit account, we can enter one BTC and zero USD. The bottom left chart shows the total value of the portfolio in Bitcoin at expiry at each price point. This is shown in blue, and the red dotted line shows the value if we just held the balance and had no position. The bottom right chart shows the total value of the portfolio in dollars at expiry at each price point. Again, the red dotted line shows what the portfolio will be worth in dollars without the position. Lastly, it's also possible to add a futures position that will be included in the calculations and the charts. For example, Let's say we deposited one Bitcoin into the Deribit account to begin with when the Bitcoin price was, say, $28,000 and immediately shorted this one Bitcoin from $28,000 to lock in the dollar value. To enter this, we have an entry price of $28,000 and a position size of negative $28,000. As with the option positions, we enter short positions as a negative. It's also possible to delete all the option legs if you just want to see the futures position by itself as well. That's about it for this overview of the features. Feel free to download a copy to use and edit however you like. If you have any other questions or feature requests, just let me know in the comments or shoot me a message on Twitter. If you want to stay up to date with any future updates, resources and videos, like and subscribe on YouTube and follow me on Twitter. I hope you find this tool useful and thanks for watching.